What I mean by cap is just that this is not the reason why they lock you up, okay? By the way, listen, I love a good conspiracy theory, but you're not going to have me sit here and believe that the Matrix wants to lock up a okay? I don't think that's the case. I do believe that because of his power and influence people to make sure he's on up and up. The more powerful you are, the more clean you got to be. Unless you're with those people and you could be whatever, right? Um, I, I'll play what he said. And then I'll give my opinion. Uh, the truth is this. So I I knew it was coming. I absolutely not only knew it was coming because of how orchestrated it was. The only thing, and I'll state this at the beginning, the only reason I'm upset by being canceled is because I've expired one of my lives. Because first you get canceled, then they make up a reason to put you in jail. And if that fails, they kill you. So now I'm down to my last two lives, which is also why while I'm answering this question, I'm still being careful how I'm answering it. I'm not telling scary you scary shit. It's scary because they've now they've given me the warning and I'm still running my mouth. Yeah. So that's scary. But here's how cancellation works. So I knew it was going to happen because there's very, very orchestrated attacks. So NGOs and charities and all these other non the 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 truth is this. So I I knew it was coming. I absolutely not only knew it was coming because of how orchestrated it was. The only thing, and I'll state this at the beginning, the only reason I'm up. Second, second. Um, all right, but I'm gonna hop on Discord too. Oh, okay. It's raiding their properties in Bucharest. Yo, 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 yo. What's good? What's good, fool? Yeah, what up? All right, yo, bro. Hold on. Hold I got on. a new bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me move us into. Hey, chat. Oh, oh, okay, okay, never mind. It's, here we go. We're in there. All right, cool. Anyway, um, yo, I have um Fresh from Fresh and Fit here. Someone who is, you know, like within the last couple of months has actually visited Andrew Tate's, you know, estate in... Um, um, I just played a few videos of him being taken into custody. Also, him talking about what he believes was going to happen to him. I actually have... A, I want to take a very neutral take on it because I do like Tate. And trust me, I listen to Tate every day. I watch every interview. Yo, you just did an interview with Brittany Renner. I thought he dominated. He dominated that. Um, yeah. I want to start out by saying this. And I, I want to. Fred, I know you know him. You have all the ability to counter or be like, yo, act not. Nah, that's not what you I don't believe this is quote quote the main attack. I think Tate always knew that there was a situation that they were investigating. I think Tate makes his money on the up and up. Tate makes, if you ask me, between three to eight million dollars a month off of his Hustlers University, which is primarily based on his family. I don't believe, like again, you know, every time, and I even asked him on my podcast, how did you get your, your wealth? You, y'all ask him much. He would kind of say, well, we made our first million off webcams, then we got into casinos. I've never heard anything like Usually, casinos is where you get caught up. This probe is not coming from anything else other than some old shit, and I'll say it's old shit, but it was when they had women on the webcam shit. Fresh, you, you hear me? Yeah, okay. So he's getting caught up because of some old shit. Now here's the thing. Anybody knows with Bane, and this is not no matrix or whatever, it's just with Bane, right? If I used to rob banks, we've seen this many times with hip hop. If you used to be a shooter, if you were Pooh Shiesty, and now you get famous, or you were Bobby Schmurd, remember when Bobby Schmurd got famous? We realized they were investing in Bobby Schmurd a four years before. You don't get famous and leave your past behind. Tate is at the point of fame where I do believe everything he's doing now is on the other side. The only thing he's taking down is going to be some shit that he did in the past. And it's going to bring up this whole thing about what he did with running in Brooklyn. I don't know. How to do it. Let's go tomorrow. Yeah, I'm here. But I'm, I'm going to phone with Justin. Okay. Justin, let's go tomorrow then. Okay. Oh, thanks, bro. All right. right. No, because Justin would know better than all of us what's happening with Andrew, because that's his like, closest friend uh, from 
America. Okay. Um, well, 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 again, and by the way, I'm but definitely not trying to put you on the spot. Okay? But this is the first time I've ever seen real, like, you know, like documents in, in, in the sense of, like, you know, news articles saying what, what was really going on. From what I've read, this is what they're saying. This ain't even really, you know, and again, I'm not trying to sign fault. It, it feels like they're saying this originated because Tristan got with a girl. Right. This is the Finesse, first ever. Oh, Finesse wow. the girl. We're not Real. Finesse the girl. Gamed her up by saying, hey, shorty, yo, come to, come to like, where I live at, Romania. I'm living good. That chick probably down bad, right? In the U.S., right? That chick wanted a man. He probably lying to her. Yo, you gonna be my girl. By the way, we all be capping a girl. So I'm not here saying that's by the way, that's not a crime. That's the first rule. Sell a dream. <laughs> okay, so he's selling a dream. Bet. Now, I'm gonna cross reference it. And by the way, you're not his defense attorney. I'm just kind of throwing things in the air. And yeah. then and then I do have an indictment about Romania. Because I've heard Andrew Tate talk about Romania like it's basically just a safe haven. And you're protected. You're not that protected. The major. Th this is some shit that would go down the U.S. And by the yeah. way, I only think that they ran in there because of pressure from external organizations. This is old. This ain't new. It's old. Why are they still trying to kick his door down, raiding him, and trying to bring him out for the presses who are outside taking mad pictures? It's a PR thing. It's as much as. I know you've been there. Y'all yeah. might be like, oh, that's not like the woke US. That's some woke shit. Y'all had him in custody months ago about the same incident. And now y'all yeah. do it again. Now that he's the biggest he's ever been. And he's back on social media, or at least Twitter. And y'all got him in custody acting like some new shit. So uh, here's what I think, right? And this is funny because we were just there a couple months ago. And it was fine, you know? However... This whole case where, like, they're saying the argument is, hey, you know what? It's money laundering through the activity of trafficking. It's crazy because, dude, the girls that come to this spot, bro, they come on free will. Leave, they leave whenever, whenever they want, and they're all happy as hell to be there, right? So then, okay, what's the agenda here? Because last time they were arrested, apparently, or detained, is because, like you said earlier, Tristan was with a girl from Miami, by the way. Mind you. So we, we were there, right? We had to go, uh, Andrew, Tristan, what's going on with this, with this chick, bro? That, you know, light on you guys. You know, it's a local Miami girl. That came to she was from Miami. Yeah, for she, nigga. Miami no has wonder, demons, bro. No wonder they want to go back to Miami. On oh, God, bro. So Miami has the demons, right? So this girl came to Romania to visit Tristan, of course. She had a boyfriend the whole time. So the boyfriend had no idea. Man, you once again, guys, we say on on podcast. Your girl goes on, on, on a girl's trip to a random country, bro. It's an L. Anyhow, so she goes to Romania to visit Tristan. You know, things happen. What you will. And then they have a party as usual with all the girls from, you know, Romania, uh, UK, Dubai, wherever they're from, right? So then this girl is in the party having fun dancing, orders a pizza, goes outside, comes back in, chilling and dancing, tri or Tristan, whatever, doing, it, doing her thing. And then her boyfriend calls and is upset. Yo, where you at? Where well, you know about? Woo -woo -woo. And she basically said in a nutshell to protect herself because she doesn't want to be accountable. Well... I'm being held against my will from Andrew and Tristan Tate here, and I can't come back, babe. Like, they're holding me against my will. So he, he contacts the local authorities there, and Interpol gets involved, and then they say, hey, she's being held against her will. Let's go let's go get her. So then they go raid their spot and find out from the uh, cameras that, hey, she's lying because you can see her on camera walking in and out of the building. Hold on. Get a piece of her, walking back in. So it's full cap. I'm Wait, hold on, though. Mm -hmm. Again. I'm going to try to be as impartial as I could be, and 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 That's and, and, fine. and impartially for content. Also, I don't know Andrew. Okay, now mm. granted, I think everything Andrew's been doing in the last couple months, I love. I don't know. Again, if if we listen to Andrew, he made a lot of money even before this. His whole personality took off. Right. But if we if we're hearing what the police is saying. They feel it was just human trafficking shit, right? Everything he's right. doing now, Hustlers University, I love it. I love that shit. Anyway, so I'm, I'm trying to be objective, right? But this is where I would say, because listen, we're all men, 
And we're not going to yeah. sit in here and be the wo- do the woke shit. Okay, we're going to keep it a beam. Hey, you ever been fucking with a chick? And then you ain't know she had a man? Her man find out that you fucking his chick? She's oh, in a man. rock and a hard place. What she's going to tell him? Oh, uh, it, you, wait. For the woke motherfuckers who might be in here, do you think she's going to tell Oh, no. I, no, no. I was just in Romania. I'm seeing all these foreign cars, and he's treating me good, so I just smutted out and fucked him? She's not going to say that. You know what she's going to say? Oh, I didn't want to do it. I was thinking about you the whole time. I love you. Blah, 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 blah. But you kept putting pressure on me. This and third. Hey, the reason why I'm also saying that, and by the way, this is not... We don't... the facts of the case i want to make this clear but yeah, i'm we just don't. trying to add some context i told a story about a girl who i was dealing with who almost had me put hands on another man because the way she was making it seem is like the dude like she wasn't with none of that you get what i mean mm. come to find out i get information bro she kicked it off what you mean like bro like she was with it Nigga, she was making decisions that show she was with blah, blah, blah. Nigga, I ain't know about you. And even if I didn't know about you, I don't know you like that. I'm going to do me. But I start believing the only way she could have saved whatever situation we had was by saying, you know, I wouldn't have not fucked anybody else but you. And I'm like, okay, that, that sounds good, right? I'm a guy. So if I did fuck somebody else, I ain't do it willingly. And I'm like, what? You ain't do it willingly. That mean that nigga did something to you. Now I'm going along that route, believing that she didn't do what she wanted to do within her own will and, and, and recognizance. Do y'all understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So I go back to this situation with Andrew Tate and Tristan. It looked like the girl's fucking with Tristan. She she probably look at Tristan and look at her man and be like, damn, Tristan, yo, that nigga like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, in shape. Damn, he got some bread, more bread than my man. He look better than him. He's in sh- Yo, I'm about to go fuck with him, but she's probably lying to her dude. Hey, I'm just going out for an interview, whatever the case. You know, just tapping, right? Now her boyfriend's blowing her up. Now she got to come up with the excuse, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yo, uh, just real quick, I think a- uh, Andrew is released from prison. Uh, there's a, a video on World Star right now. Um, An- Andrew? Andrew Tristan release. Yeah. I hope so. Hold on. It, it's, it's saying uh, Andrew's been released from jail, saying he was swatted, and conspiracy theorists claim uh, it was planned by big tech companies. Uh, I don't wait, know. wait, let me see. Let me see. Andrew and Tristan Tate are released from Romania. So they're walking out now, apparently. They were reportedly is it new or old? I can't really conf- confirm that, but there's a video right here. Let's if it's see. an old video, and they just posted it just now. A roll star. It thrills. So the, the, you see the it? The truth is this. So they cancel, then they the tax. Oh, they don't, the, t- they don't show them talking to the cops. Obviously, they show the full send shit. <laughs> I, you can't tell if it's new or not. The only thing, and by the way, here's the thing. The only reason why I even bring it up, I'm going to tell you why I bring it up, right? So the reason why I bring it up is that I've heard the story that Andrew and Tristan first said about what happened with that girl. I'm going to be honest with you as a man and somebody who kind of knows how certain shit happens. That didn't seem out the realm of possibility, right? Yo, you invite a chick over. She might be on the rocks with her mans. She came over. She's having a good time. She's seeing shit she never seen. Maybe she fucked a guy or two. This and third. Her man is now hitting her and pressing her. She's trying to cap to him. He he doesn't know the real truth. He's he's trying to be quote unquote a good guy, but he takes it to the next level. Yo, they're holding my girl against my her will, right? Like he probably said, baby, just come home. Yo, no, nah, I want to come home, but no, they keep saying I can't go home yet. Blah blah. She's capping, right? So now he's like, all right, I got to be the man. I got to go, like, some people might call it telling, but that's not telling at that point. He's like, yo, I'm a, I got to get my girl back. Yo, they holding my girl hostage, blah, blah, blah. That's what's supposed to be the first raid. This is the only interesting thing when it comes to this particular raid, right? Because I got it on the screen. Let me hit the translate button. Yeah, World Star was, uh, by the way. Oh, yeah, apparently that World Star shit was old. It's old, right? Yeah, yeah it's old. It's old. The light, 
the clothes they're wearing are not the clothes that they went in to jail with. So it doesn't make sense. Okay, oh, world for that one. So the different clothes. The, the reason why I'm, I'm a little bit worried about this one because they said not only is, is a Tate brothers detained, there's a former policewoman detained, and they're saying, um, I don't know if I can find it. They said there's two women, not one. So yeah. it's like additional to what we heard previously, which seems like not only have they been working the case, but maybe they have found some other shit. Granted, you know, is I don't know how they do it in Romania. It should be uh, presumed innocent until proven guilty, but it's a little it's a little sus. So I, I have a, 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 a document here from an attorney. He says they're holding them for for standard twenty four hours. They'll be. Uh, arranged tomorrow and if there's no cause to hold they aren't considered a flight risk or digital to society they'll be released on their own cognizance so uh apparently they didn't see a judge first um before what? they actually get released to okay. be um you know vindicated so I, I don't know what's happening now but apparently they also um took their assistant georgiana as well so bro i mean this is dangerous because if it's set for money laundering bro that's a very vague term they can use for anything so i think that's crazy bro now, I definitely want to talk about that because, you know, clearly that's not the same how it's handled in the U.S. What, what, what's mm -hmm. happen what happens in the U.S., right? If, if a woman goes to the cops and says, yo, hey, look at my eye and say she has a black eye. And she says, yo, Fresh did this, right? And she just names you to the cops. The police yep. is going to go pick you up. But yep. they're going to arrest you for suspicion of committing domestic violence. Okay. Now, granted, that's suspicion. After they suspect you of doing it, they actually have to charge you for the actual act. So they could arrest you. The thing with American cops, they arrest you for anything. Charging you usually means, unless it's like a very serious offense, which might be indictable. Once they charge you, there is no court, right? So th there's people who have gotten arrested for shit that have never been to court. Mm. I don't know how it works in Romania. So when I hear that they have to see a judge, it feels like there might be a charge. Because if it's only, like, I'm reading this two ways. Yo, we're, we're, um, and again, I'm, I'm using a lot of, uh, uh, y'all feel like a lawyer when it comes to U.S. shit. Okay, so, <laughs> so in the U.S., right, say, say two girls came from your apartment and said, yo, that nigga fresh, yo, he got bitches like, you know what I mean, just tied up tied up in chains and shit like that and like he running a sex trafficking ring in there right bro i'm making this up this is I know, I know right? this guy. yo a, a prosecutor or, or well, actually um a cop is gonna try to call to a uh, or a detective actually is gonna call to a judge and say we need a search warrant for fresh's crib they're gonna run up in your crib right after they get a, the, the search warrant to try to find the evidence that they need to charge you right they're going to try to find the woman that was alleged to be there. And then they're going to try to question you, right? So they're going to be like, yo, Fresh, now you, now you got to come down with us. Yo, we, we got to talk to you, right? Now, what usually happened in the U.S. is they got 24 hours to hold you. That's the max. If they have no charge, right, they have 24 hours to, 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 to um, hold you. I don't know how it works in Romania, but let's fuck all the legal shit. This is a point which I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. I love listening to Andrew Tate. But when he, he when, when he talks about the Western world and he talks about Romania, he's always talked about, and especially in the last few months, Romania and Dubai as like safe havens. Like, yo, hey, listen, I wouldn't go back to like the US, but I like to be in these places because these places, you know, give me a little bit more you know um protection knowing that i probably have a little bit more rights or you know i have a better situation this doesn't seem like the place that's not affected by woke culture because if you ask me you know you know the reason why i think they they pulled the warrant on him i think what? they i think they pulled the warrant on him because of external pressure from other organizations Boom. so that's it brother no. that's it because okay so let me get some context here right so andrew tristan 
are well known throughout Romania. They're respected. Everyone knows who they are. Everyone knows where they li- where they live as well, right? And girls are always there, back and forth, almost every single day. Now, the police are already aware of who the Tates are as well. So for them to actually come to their spot and have an arrest warrant and actually go all the way in and do all what it did to uh, Andrew Tristan must be because they're getting pressure from uh, outside source because they know them on a personal level. So, and last thing they, they actually got raided or whatever, they saw the camera and said, oh, my bad guys, we're sorry about this. And then they, they left and they were all like, respectful. So this time hold around- on, Hold on, hold on, has- hold on. I'm, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm going to argue that. Bro, this is okay. the same situation. This is where I would argue the Tate's narrative versus what's real. Because I read the whole thing. It didn't say they, they just saw the camera and said, oh, no, you're good. It's done. What happened is, and, and there's a longer article. I, I got to find it. What happened is they um they figured out that the jurisdiction wasn't in the cops that raided them. They didn't have jurisdiction. They passed the jurisdiction to someone else. So they never really gave the taste the green light to say, oh, we were wrong. This was a on. This is the same investigation that they got detained for before. You get what I mean? So this is why I look at it and I say I'm not judging them because, bro, it's, it's some old shit. This is some old shit. Um, but I do think their fame and their rhetoric and a lot of the woke people who are upset at them are pushing people to try to get anything they could get on them. And by the way, if it ain't this, it would be taxes. Like, okay, these niggas said they made how much money? They got how much cars? Are they paying taxes? I Okay, so I get what you're saying, but personally, I think that they are trying to get them. They were trying to get them for the trafficking charge, of, of course, but that didn't work. So adding the money laundering to it with the, with the whole like media push for saying, you know what? They're bad people. They're doing trafficking. That public opinion with whatever outside sources is pushing them to have pressure on the Romanian uh, police is saying, you know what, cool. With that pressure and the public opinion, let's go after them. But personally speaking, bro, do you think money laundering is actually a case here? Because, I mean, it's, it's so vague and so so vague, we don't know. But, like, if they tie that with the trafficking, bro, that's a serious uh, claim. And that can go either way. Well, you put two of them together. Okay. You, you get what I mean? Because okay. Because what's happened is, if they get tried in Romania, and they say, hey, you know what, you need, you need to leave and hey, get deported, hey. and they go to UK, and in the US, the US is going to do whatever they want, they want with Andrew. Interesting. Hey. hey. You, you have a great point. So l- l- I'm going to read like a, a few paragraphs if you could afford the time. And it's really just to, to show how it happened because the first time they were raided was on April 11th. I actually thought it was like 2021 for whatever reason, but it was actually this year. Look, yeah. in this in this case, investigators first descended on this address for the brothers Tristan and Andrew on April 11th. Make sure I see. Uh, complaint was received by the U.S. Embassy. So this matched their story that the fact that a woman with an American citizenship was being forcibly held at the residence. Initially, the investigation was carried out, carried out by, I guess, some local police who immediately descended on their home in a file open under the coordination of blah, 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 blah. On this occasion, they learned that the British had a video chat studio. Okay? So I guess they didn't, they, they only, some American girl called her boyfriend. Her boyfriend called the embassy. The embassy started pressuring Romania. Romania said, we're sending a local, local squad over there to go get that girl right now. They go over there. The girl probably not there, but they find out that there's a video chat studio, which is operated in a building. Here we go. And I'm going to ask, again, you, you don't have to answer these questions. But it says the building that the video chat studio was operated located uh, approximately 500 meters from their villa. It says several women were found there, which by the way, this is what confused me. I thought, like even when I when I interviewed Tate, Tate was talking about doing the webcam shit years ago. It didn't sound like any recent shit. So it surprised me that according to the cops, on April 11th this year, I thought the Tate, the Tate was making so much money they're, they're not doing that webcam shit, bro. But they're saying April 11th this year. Yeah. They go into this shit. The, this video chat studio, which is located 500 meters from their villa. Several young women were found there, including the women, the woman with American citizenship. But also another young woman from the Republic of Moldova. And by the way, those are the two girls who basically are snitching on them. I don't want to call it snitching because I don't want a woman to be like, oh, you think like. 
for ports, which is extension yep. The two are set to, are, are are said to have said at the time that they're being held against their will after being rounded up using a method commonly used by human traffickers known as generically as lover boy bro this is something out of tinder swindler handbook basically saying hey he got me to fall in love with him i left my country i gave up everything i had i came to live with him when i came to live with the guy basically he then told me no you're about to sell pussy for me that's that's kind of what they're trying to allude to right yeah. here we go in this regard the young woman from america and by the way here's the funny thing it seems like if they didn't or and, and this is why i don't want to blame it on anyone but if tristan wasn't talking to that woman from america this wouldn't be a thing but you see what happens when that american big embassy calls any country if you in kuwait nigga when that American embassy calls and says, yo, we got Lil Boom in your country, and apparently he's under duress, he couldn't tell us what's going on, his girlfriend just called us from Milwaukee, go find that nigga, we need him. Promise you, hell, yo, they're turning over every fucking stone. So it really looks like whoever that young woman from America is, got the u.s embassy to start slapping up romania that's the thing about and this right. is about yo this is my only indictment against what the taste say uh. they said don't live in america blah 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 you could go to another country these other countries are bitches when it come to america nigga if america come over there and say yo we dropping a bomb on you they say okay master u.s right. runs the world all right if that's romania was its own sovereign shit the U.S. Embassy asking them, yo, yo, we missing a girl over there. Be like, yo, bro, we gonna holler at the Tates and we'll let y'all know. No, nigga, the fucking U.S. Embassy got multiple raids happening at the Tates' house. You might as well live in America. You yeah, know what I'm saying? No, no, that's a very good point, actually, because the power of the U.S. infiltrated into the, the, the um, you know, Europe and they got to Romania. However, isn't it scary that a woman could just make an allegation against you in a different country and you get called by the U.S. Embassy or the U.S. authorities and the pressure from them allows them to raid your house. That's crazy, bro. Like, like, like okay, think about that. Look, look at Drake, for example, right? Shorty said, yo, Drake flew me out. He kicked me out, the yada, yada. That was cap, right? But one allegation, people, oh, Drake is, is a bad person. Why, why did he do that? Secondly, Javante Davis, right? Happened to him as well. Big Mama said, he almost killed me. He's going to kill me. Now, we weren't there, so we don't know what happened. But going on what was said and what was uh, seen from Javante as well, her pooping on his toothbrush or whatever, bro, that's wild. So just a woman saying something can destroy your life, bro. So I, I'm hey. going to be honest with you, bro. This is bigger than just like, uh, you know, the, the states and no, Romania. This is definitely me that having the power to destroy a kingdom, bro. It's in the Bible. No, no, no definitely. And I agree with that. I was just trying to say you can't escape it because Tate was talking like, oh, as long as I don't go to America, I escape it. I stay in Dubai and I stay in Romania. You can't escape it. America is the most powerful country in the world. If they ask any fucking country for a nigga, unless you Osama bin Laden, nigga, where people will be like, oh, we don't know where you at. They're giving that person up willingly, no matter what country it is. So the point is that if you think that you live in another country, where their rules and demog you better never fuck with an American citizen. Whatever the taste was doing, I'm not saying I knew what exactly we were doing, but the moment they fuck with an American, that's what fucked it up. And, and by the way, to your point about what women could do, Drake has a song, which I know is as a fact. If a woman right now in the United States is pregnant and she says, Drake's my baby daddy, they could force Drake. Drake had never met the girl a day in his life could force Drake to give a DNA sample. Facts. It's yeah. happened. He's rapped about it. If yeah. someone has a baby by a crackhead and says, no, my baby, my baby dad is Drake, they could go to the courts and the courts could force Drake. Anybody. You could force any man. It's not only Drake, any man. To pass a DNA sample. That's wild, bro. See, see, I have friends, bro, that like they went to Colombia, went to Brazil. They're like, yo, I'm done with US girls. And I get it, bro, because, bro, it is dangerous, bro. One phone call 
could destroy your reputation, your career. And bro, recently, this just like for the chat niggas, for niggas in the chat, a girl tried me, bro. Like, like, my you tried I, you? Stop it, bro. Like, I'm gonna show you some some screenshots later on, but bro, imagine me, right, bro? I'm super nice, super chill, super laid back. Never ever in any way demeaning or ever mean to a girl, bro. Because they want to take her serious and be builder, bro. She got mad, went to my girls I was talking to, and just said some random shit to them that was crazy, bro. Wait, wait, and like tried you, bro? Yeah, nigga, this is me on a chill level with a chick, and it's like, bro. Wait, wait, hold just, on. Don't give too much info, but like, wait. So, so a girl you've dealt with, so you fucked her, whatever the case is, and then like she tried to try you, like how? Because she wanted me to be, be with her as like her boyfriend, right? And it's spend New Year's with her, but I didn't want to do it, bro. I'm like, bro, like uh, I'm busy, I'm doing work, right? So she literally proceeds to like, oh, that's how you feel? All right, bet. I feel like you're trying me, so I'm gonna try you back. So she goes into my Instagram and starts doing dumb shit with other girls that I'm talking to or whatever in my DMs. And it's like, bro, it's like, she literally did some messed up shit because she felt like I was trying her. She felt tried because I didn't want to be with her. Yo, Isn't that crazy? No, you know what's so crazy? So I was watching, um, I'm watching you guys show recently, right? And um, salute to, um, uh, definitely salute to Myron. Um, you guys got to the point of the show where, you, where, where I guess women, like you guys that were asking women, like, what should you do if like a woman is like running at you, trying to like hit you, trying to like hurt you, whatever, whatever. And yeah. Myron gave the real, the, the best example. And um, unfortunately as men, we are emasculated to a certain point because he said the best thing. If there's a woman who is trying to do you harm or something, your only defense is to hold up your phone and record. Run and record. It sounded pussy, but it was true. Yeah. And I'm watching this shit. And, and, and matter of fact, let me, let me read a little bit more. It says, okay, so, so apparently, and by the way, we're going to use some common sense. This is a article. There's a lot of people who don't like Tate. They're going to put it in whatever frame. It appears that that American uh, citizen, right, the woman, is probably the woman that Tate told us about in the sense of, yo, she came over. She's fucking with Tristan. Everything is cool. Everything is chill. You know what I mean? Her boyfriend's like, yo, damn, yo, yo, where you at? Like, why are you posting pictures of supercars, man? She's like, where you at? You know what I mean? She's trying to like lie to him. Eventually, he kind of corners her. She says, "Oh nah, like nah, I, I ain't really want to be here. Like I'm just here because I gotta be here." So he probably pressing her, "Yo, when you coming home?" Exactly. When you coming home? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try to come home, but yo, I miss you though. You, this is a regular conversation, bro. Like yo, oh, I miss you. Like I can't wait to see you. Like as soon as I can't wait to get out of here, I want to see you. Knowing as soon as she hang up, body shots. Let's get in the hot tub. We're streaking. Yo, let's shotgun. Him. Real talk. So now he's looking at it like, damn, she's being held against his will. Right? So, um, okay. So in this regard, this young woman from America would have stated that she met Tristan through a social network and that he seduced her and convinced her to buy a plane ticket to Romania. <laughs> she allegedly no. listen, 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 it's not done She allegedly abandoned She abandoned her boyfriend And came to live with the British millionaire But not, now, now it's a story flip So she left her boyfriend, right? What could you, Yo, if a nigga's risen you up And you pick You got a whole man And you say, fuck my boyfriend I'm going over here Listen, here's the story flip she abandoned her boyfriend and came to live with a British millionaire, but found herself threatened and Bruh. and forced to work as a video chat model. Frightened. Come on now. Frightened. She contacted her ex-boyfriend, who in turn noticed notified the U.S. Embassy in Bucharest. After realizing the evidence describes crimes assimilated to an organized crime group the Buftea prosecutors declined jurisdiction blah 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 hold on i think this nigga is six nine let me see what i think so yo yo what you doing nigga i'm on stream nigga i'm 
<laughs> you walk on stream? Who the queen? Hold on. <laughs> you say who the queen? I'm trying to figure out who the queen. <laughs> uh, who that? Show me the queen. January. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I can't see your face. I gotta see your face. You say no, you, you cannot see because you like posting shit. I nah, I'm not about to post. Yo, yo, I swear. Word, your word to everything. Can I just tell them? Cause we're gonna make a lot of money. Okay. Can I tell you? All right, all right. Well, what's the story? Hold on. I, yeah, okay. Yeah. The story is I went through my man's phone. I seen he took Nessa to DR in January. Javante's baby mom, right? Yeah. In January, they took pictures and y'all, the date is there, everything, right? Yeah. He beat her up, whatever, because uh, whatever, anything happened, whatever. I told him, whatever. Anyways, and then she posed. She's like, oh, I did a sonogram in May 12th. So, bitch, were you pregnant or you was confused? I don't get it. Wait, 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 wait. Nessa, your friend, right? Or no? It was my friend. But, 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 Nessa is Javante Davis' baby moms, ain't it? Yes, and my nigga took her to DR in January. So, can you do the math? Nah, no, she wouldn't step out on Javante like that. Nah, stop it. So, forget it. That was not his kid. Oh, wait, so you saying that's why he gave her the beats? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, can I talk again or no? Nah, go ahead, girl. Oh, you gotta defend. Nah, go ahead. <laughs> He said, no, Nessa wouldn't go out like that. So I'm a liar. I'm a big fucking liar. Now, I don't know what's I'm going on. I'm single because I want to, right? Yo, I, I be thinking, yo, she dating a big boxer. Like, you know, he making mad money. She wouldn't cheat and on I him. I would think so, too. But a bitch went back to a fucking street nigga and got fucked and sent back. Wait, she cheated on Javante Davis with a street nigga? I'm telling you what the fuck it is. Holy shit. So, wait, it, 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 did he find that? That's why, that's why the whole shit happened? I don't know what it was. That's what it is. But I want a rumble part two, just in case it wasn't. What oh. the? Oh. Yo, yo, yo! Listen, yo. Yo, what I'm are you drinking? I'm drinking. Yo, when you coming to Miami? Nigga, you know exactly what I'll be there, fool. <laughs> Nigga, we gotta set up. We gotta set up the the rumble podcast. Yeah, no, no, no. We gonna get it. Hey, yo, yo, matter of fact, uh, uh, yo, I got this nigga uh, fresh over here too. He gonna be here with us. Fresh nigga from Fresh and Fit, nigga. What up, oh, Nanny? Fresh. I thought you said. I thought you said French. <laughs> now, French. That's my nigga too. He fold you. How much can you be paying? How much can you be paying? Oh yeah. Nah, bro. French fuck with you, bro. Look at this nigga, bro. Yo! Yeah, I'm lit right now. No, hold on, hold on. How yo, you yo. Not here drink? How you not here drinking with us? Nigga, first of all, fucking, huh? first of all, I got a bigger drink. Yo, yo, matter of fact, yo, hold on, hold on. Yo, nigga, yo. Look at, look at my drink right now. Nigga, are you fucking dumb, nigga? Look, yo. that's all fucking. Yo, 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 you got to pick me up from the airport. How many, how many, how many people you got on stream right now? I ain't going to lie. We dumb lit. Now we dumb lit. I'm going to tell you. How many people? Oh, all right. Hold on, hold on. Yo, we got right now. At, right now, at once, right now, like, right, right now, right now. We got tw twenty, like twenty thousand, twenty twenty thousand point five. Facts. Nah, not twenty thousand point five. Right now, while people, while people, are right now, live, right now. Nigga, I got sixteen thousand on YouTube and I got four thousand on Twitch, nigga. Sixteen and four, nigga, is twenty, nigga. Nah, you ain't fucking me, nigga. On, on Rumble, I got ten thousand consistently. Nigga, nigga, my YouTube should be busting, yo. Yeah, I think it's be yo, yo, yo. Speaking of which, yo, yo, you gotta pick me up tomorrow, nigga. And um, oh, what was I gonna say? Um, um. Yo, yeah, yeah, yo, six nine. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, 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 can you? Let me agitate. You don't think she lying? Cause. She don't know how you talk. She don't know how you talk. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. I ain't gonna lie to you. I would have thought she was lying, but you told me the story already. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. Yo, Danny told me the story already. Danny told... Bro, I know you know the name, so, like, come on. Come on, I... 
yeah, 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 Yo, six. Why nigga say you got a soul with gunner, nigga? Yo, why nigga that shit about to drop tomorrow? Man, that shit gonna break the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that shit gonna break the internet. That shit about to drop tomorrow. Yo. Yo, they took out the part where they said, call. You know when they said, call gunner if you want you a Birkin. They said, stop tapping in your rap, nigga. Call six nine. All right, man. Well, let's figure that out, bro. All right, man. <laughs> So, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 that's serious because now they can't take Andrew's side and say, you know what, it's all good, bro. We know you Yo, nigga, because you now there's done, pressure from, you good? Where you at? from actually like um, where you, where you, at? you know, outside sources. So right now, guys, like Andrew might be in a tight spot and Tristan as well. Hopefully, um, we're, we're gonna pray for them that this blows over and um, they can they can beat it easily. But once again, it's only questioning for 24 hours. After that, they go to see a judge. They should be fine at that point, and they should be, they should be good to go. I think I could act a little like uh lit, lit right now. So but um hold on. Can you hear me? Huh? Nigga, you gotta get ass beat and smash, bro. Come on. Alright, alright, bet, bet, bet. My bad, my bad. Nah, nah, I think it's tweaking, bro. Yo. Yo, you nigga, you coming? To my Nigga, of course. Nigga, nigga, uh, uh, nigga, don't be saying times, nigga, please. Uh, what's the, what's the rule, nigga? Yo, 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 boom, boom, boom. Hit me off of this. I'm gonna tell you. Man. Yo, just so you know. Yo, keep, bro. Like, bro, that's real life. Okay, okay, okay. Talk Damn. to me. Yo, hey. Hey, we back on this Andrew shit. Like, nigga, I'm even like, six times trying to call right now because I know he about to, he about to. I ain't gonna lie, that shit, that shit bad. You want me to, you want me to show you who you with? Nah, I ain't gonna show you who you with. We already yeah. know, we already know who you with, bro. You know who you better with? than his chicks, bro. Chad already know who you with, bro. Yeah, oh, yo, yeah. yo, I, I get better chicks than, than, than uh, Danny. That's Cap. Tell you right now. That's Cap. Nigga. Nigga, nigga. Bro, come on. Nigga. Oh, the, the. I'll, hold on, I'll put Shorty on the screen. Fresh, you gotta show me one bitch you felt better than her. Easy. The, 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 the truth is this. So I I knew it was coming. I absolutely not knew it was coming because of how orchestrated it was. The only thing and I'll state this at the beginning. The only reason I'm up. I don't. My bad. I don't even know. The 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 truth is this. So fuck it. Keep playing. No no no. Here we go. All right. Yo, you gotta show me. You gotta show. All right. Yo, are you looking at my stream? You gotta show me a bad bitch you fucked. I'll show you privately, but not not camera. Now. Oh man, they guys gonna put it on camera. All right, it's okay, it's okay. Yo, all right, all right, yo, let's stay on this Andrew Tate shit right now, cause like six times about to get his dick wet, nigga. Why we worried about him? Type shit, you know what I mean? Yo. Thank you. Back to the real news. Back to the real, the top G, nigga, big G, nigga. Stop playing. Yo, okay. So, can I go back to this article? Right. So yeah. it says, um. So, so, so right now we know that the well, we are assuming based off what's happening, the U.S. is pressuring the Romanian authorities to go after Andrew Tristan for these allegations, right? Bro, I'm I'm glad you even said that because I don't even think it's the U.S. authorities, and this is what I'm trying to say about the woke woke world we're in now, bro. So there was this girl, there's this woman, I believe. Um, she was just like, um, somebody was sending me her shit. Yo, she was saying, oh, here's the funny thing. So there was this, it's basically groups that's been pressuring the whole country, my nigga. So it's not even, so I only want to make it seem like it's the U.S. government. Bro, there's woke groups, brother. Hold on. I'm going to pull this shit up. I'm going to pull this shit up. 
Mm. So, so it's like these woke groups has been like, oh, hey, Romania, you have a bunch of sex traffickers. Crack down on them. Like weird shit, my nigga. Damn. And, um, and, and, and that's I mean, why, and that's why I'm, I'm trying to say is like, yo, I feel the um, the whole woke culture, bro. This bigger than what we thought it was. People thought it was just the U.S. Bro, they're pressuring people all over. Hold on. Okay, okay. So how do we combat this academics? How, how, how do we fight back and, you know, help Andrew in this sense? What do you think we can do as a, as a, uh, as man? Yeah, okay. Outside of change.org, what, what can we do? Because I think personally, um, us being in America, we can't really do shit. However, online we can. Um, just spreading awareness, you know? Yo, 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 that's such a great fucking question. It's like, what do you do about, like, again, let's go to Andrew's message. It's that, yo, pretty much we're trapped in a fucking matrix where, like, if you're not a con controlled bot, if you're not, like, just fucking thinking what everybody else thinks, if you're not just, like, avoiding certain things and not just trying to question the majority of what's happening in society. You'll be rewarded, but you'll, re you'll be rewarded within a certain, like, you know what I mean, extreme. But if, if you're the person who's like, yo, I don't know about that, or, nah, I think this, you're going to be penalized. If I'm going off what Andrew says, which I think, yo, I think Andrew's really brilliant, right? He says this only happens in the West. That's the thing that fucks me up, right? If it only happens in the West, why the fuck is Romania... Who literally, if y'all had something against these niggas, you wouldn't be bringing them for 24 hours of questioning again. You would just literally drop the charges. But what's happening is that everybody is being pressured and everybody's being influenced by these fucking woke motherfuckers. And again, Andrew Tate being restored on Twitter, that arrogance that people are seeing, they're like, yo, hold on. How do we get this motherfucker? And he doesn't have anything new. So they're going back to the old shit. So when you ask me how do we combat it, it's like, bro, how do you combat a infrastructure that is now showing you that their power isn't only in the United States? Hmm. Very good question. You think we get in bail? No, I think he's gonna get out. Because I, the dude who talks about having passports going to all these countries, you think they're just gonna be like, "Yeah, go ahead, you're not a flight risk." Well, okay, so so again, I'm going off the U.S. like you know justice system. If you ask me, I don't believe he probably committed a crime, right? I think this is the only thing they have on him. And by the way, I think this is almost like a lesson of like humbleness in a sense, yo. You're the top guy who's the most Googled. It's like Trump. You're not fitting into the puzzle as you should. Bro, they just said they arrested like 20 niggas on Trump's like, you know what I mean? Um, whether it's his real estate or his tax team saying, oh, they capped. They were lying about certain shit. They're going to jail. They haven't arrested Trump yet, but they're kind of hinting towards. They're getting to it. When it comes to like, you know, Andrew Tate. They're basically telling you, like, yo, we're not fucking with this guy. He's saying the things that people don't like. And now they're trying to find anything on him. And if you ask me, good good for him. He's not been in any um, physical altercations, right? He hasn't been in anything that people are like, oh, he has a new charge. He's not putting out hits on motherfuckers. So they're going to use what the oldest thing and the only thing they have any type of leg room on, which is, hey, Maybe you're, maybe you're, you're human trafficking women. Bro, Andrew Tate at this point, whatever that website was making, he's probably making it in 20 days. Like, whatever that made overall, he makes that in 20 days. Why would he need to do that now? Right? But they're going to bring him up on charges now because there's nothing else new. And my thing is that I used to listen to him and, and, and I say, hey, listen, just a listen. When he said Romania was a safe haven, I'm like, all right, cool. But, bro, doesn't this sound like being targeted? If the authorities are coming to you twice within the last year, detaining you for hours at end, you don't think this is being targeted?
Well, let's be real here, though. The average person is going to be fine. Just because Andrew is so big. So Romania is kind of a safe haven. But because Andrew, you're right, he is a target. So, uh, yeah. But the average person is fine in Romania. But Dubai would probably be a better option, though. Keep it thousand with you. Dubai probably a better option. Yo, if you ask me, this is what they're going to try to come out with. They're trying to come out with some type of conspiracy. That's the only thing that could possibly hold them in jail. This is a conspiracy they're going to try to hold, right? Because they, they did raid a former cop's house as well. They're going to say that Tate is so powerful and rich, he was paying off a cop to allow him to human traffic women. Now, granted, that sounds so crazy on just by itself, but that's why they that's the only way they could probably get it. Hey, well, we have the officer here who used to work for us, but then they quit, and then they were working with y'all, with the girls, and blah, 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 blah. And then, hey, well, you guys just have too much fucking money. You keep talking about your supercars. Like, how else did you get it? Because you guys have had it before this internet come up, and they're going to try to, if they can't get them, you got to remember, when they couldn't get a lot of people when it came to drug dealing or even the mob or the mafia, when they couldn't get them on murders... When they couldn't get them on drug dealing, you know how they got them? On tax evasion. Mm. Yo, Ak, I got a hot take. Go ahead. What if it's not America that is trying to get at him? What if, you know how he was getting at the uh, Balenciaga? Don't they got pulled over there in Europe and shit? The Karen group? Okay. That's a different type of look at it. Also... Why, why do you think they would care to this extreme, though? I don't know. It was just a, just a thought. Okay, no, 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 I get you. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing, though, which I think fucks him up, and I've always seen since the time you... The first interview I've ever seen was that Andrew Tate with you, too, right? Mm -hmm. When the craziest thing that man ever said was that he likes corruption. He likes living in places with corruption because he could easily do what he wanted to do. He said that on camera, bro. That's a wild shit to say, living in the country like that and going wild on the internet like you're going wild. Hey, hey. Uh, I think you're taking it out of context, though, because he said that, like, okay, in, in America. I'm saying he said it, bro. Right? He said it. No, 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 but no, 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 no. Because I, I agree with Fresh with this one. I agree with Fresh. So, 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 yo, um, Kyrie, right? He said something that's very dope, right? So, for example, right? If. If you were ha uh, believed to had um, any type of, you know, classified documents at your home, and you could live in a twenty-story apartment, my nigga, apartment building, they're get they're going in there and they're arresting you. They're taking the shit out. They're not going through some deliberation and thinking about should we file charges or not. You're getting charged, my nigga. Right? When it comes to Trump. When it comes to other politicians, when it comes to like, for example, like, you know, corruption, people looked at um, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi's husband is the best, like, just off stats, he's the best Wall Street trader ever. Better than Warren Buffett ever, nigga. You know why he is? Because he's fucking his wife, and his wife is telling him, oh, hey, we're about to call in Google for a committee meet a committee meeting about blah 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 blah. you know what that means stocks about to go down hey we're about to grant this bill that's gonna give billions to this company we're gonna do it next week you know what his husband does her husband does buy the stock stock goes all the way up again that's corruption too but in america it's only only the the super privileged and the people in politics they get away with everything if you're broke, you're a regular person, you catch a parking ticket, you catch a speeding ticket, they'll throw your ass in jail, nigga. But don't that further make sense for what I'm saying, though? No, it, it goes against it, because think about this. What Tate was saying, which I agree with him, I'd rather be in a country that says, hey, listen, we don't care if you're the governor, we don't care if you're on the Senate, we don't care if you're the husband of one of the people on the Senate, Yo, if we catch you speeding, give us 500 bucks, you won't get, we won't prosecute you. Which means money talks. In the U.S., it's not money talks, it's status that talks. You get what I mean? Put it like this. Let's think about Epstein. Let's think about Epstein. 
why won't we get the full understanding of all these other people who may have been politicians that was politicking with Epstein? Maybe they were fucking kids too. They got status. Mm. They got status, right? So they're exempt because of their status. If they didn't have status, they would be charged. In place like Romania, that's why I think Tate likes it. It's like, fuck status. Yo, bro, if you got the same $5,000 like that nigga, we'll ignore you too. Yeah. That's more even. Am, am, am I saying it right, Fresh? Yeah, okay, so I, I get what Kyrie's saying. Just that, like, in this case, bro, because I actually went there to visit them as well. Like, they have a setup kind of like me and Miami, bro. I know everyone. Everyone knows me. It's kind of like I could walk into any room, get whatever I want. No waiting in lines. That access is because you you you're, you're kind of like a um it's a guy with status. Like I guess I could say in, in uh that ecosystem. So for example, for the Tates, it's like yo, in America, if I drive my car fast on the highway, I'm gonna get pulled over. I have to pay a ticket, or if I get my license taken away. In Romania, I could drive fast as fuck and say hey yo yo cops man come on bro you know it's me and don't let me go because. It's kind of like that. So when he says corruption, he means like, for example, hey, uh, hold on. Wait, wait, no. I, I'll give a better example. Yo, I, 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 I don't know if I play this on stream, but I watched this, right? So if you get pulled over and you're fucking drunk, you're getting hauled off to jail. Your license getting suspended. That's going to be a permanent record forever. When you have to go get a job, a lot of people will sometimes inquire about if you've ever caught a DUI. Because sometimes you might, have, you might have to drive from place to place. They want to know what's your driving record. So now you got a DUI. You can't get a lot of jobs, right? You are now fucked as a regular human being. Now, I could, and I don't know if I've played this on stream, but but um, there's this one particular thing. Um, so... A cop pulled over this guy. The guy actually happened to be a police chief of a neighboring town. He's fucking drunk out of his mind. Now, if it was you, you're getting hauled off to jail. It's on your record forever. That's what it is. The guy notices that, oh, he's a chief. The guy told me, he said, yo, I'm a chief. You know what he says? Shit. Yo, let me go call this guy. Let me call this guy. Let me call my chief. Essentially, what happens they call their, their top boss, and their top boss says, out of courtesy, let me call his top boss. They called his top boss, and his top boss woke up out of bed out of 4 o'clock, came, and drove that nigga home. Nothing got written up that that guy was drunk. I can pull it up right now. I promise you. I can pull it up right now. That's privilege. That's, That's in every field, though. That's just No, right hear what people. I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying, though. That's privilege and corruption, but corruption that's only afforded if you're in the system that those people who are cops are benefiting from. Imagine if, hey, if you if you got ten thousand, you get the same treatment. Wouldn't you want to be in that society, if especially if you're rich? Because it don't matter who you knew, know. You you know the money. Listen, listen, listen. I, in America, it's about who you know. In places like Romania, it's about what you have. Exactly, and again, again. So, does that man own casinos? Well, he he says he has in the past. Okay, did he say he was a warden at one time? Uh, he said he was a what? A warden? Am I tripping? I don't know about that. All right, maybe I might be tripping. Excuse me if I'm ignorant, but either way, he's a man of high stature who has status and money. And on camera, he said he fucks with his words, corruption. He said that. And like when you got people knocking at your door repeatedly, those are probably some shit that they use in against you. I'm just. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to be honest with you, though. I think literally he's in the space where um, they're looking at him and they're saying, yo, dude, you act like. Bro. There's a lot of mainstream pressure. Or, or mainstream incentive for them to lock him up. Bro, the Romanian police look like stellar individuals for locking him up today. Whether, even if it's just for, to hold him for 48 hours. And that's what wokeness does. Wokeness kind of gives you the incentives. Because they're already getting pressured by these people. Hey, we think this guy's a human trafficker. Lock him up, lock him up. This is why I like what Elon did. Bro, in the face of wokeness, tell them fuck themselves because there is no proof. But you you know when people go with, oh, okay, well, everybody believes this, let's do it. You get shit like this. Oh, y'all all think he's a bad guy and a, 
and a and a and a human trafficker. Okay, we'll we'll just raid his house and lock him up, and then we're gonna let him out. If they don't have legit charges this time, for them locking him up or them raiding his house for twice for the same shit, bro, they're literally bowing to wokeness, my nigga. So isn't yeah. he able to sue? That's Again. if they don't find no dirt. If if every if he clean, then there's nothing they sweat about. But if he ain't clean, that's not America. Well, yeah. So well, so here here's my take, right? So so right now, what do we know? You know that Andrew Tristan used to do webcam back in the day. However, they're claiming that they found girls up until today. Now I don't know because I don't live there. But last time I was there and I checked, I didn't see any. Maybe they had some like doing some back work behind the scenes that you know they were like, yo, it's just like extra money on the side, but it's not like serious. Who knows? But for them to say that they were like held against their will, bro, they have workers on the ground. They have security, they have uh, handmaids, they have like people helping them on the premise. And there were people being held against their will, bro. Somebody would squeal and say, yo, as a Romanian, like they're holding my people, people against me. No, tell the police. And also as well, recently, Andrew turned to, Mus uh, to become Muslim. So now he's a Muslim in the Christian society. So I don't know what's happening with that, but that whole setup there, but like, all these things against Andrew, bro, and then, for example, the woke mob that I was talking about, it adds up, bro. Like, okay, now he's a target. Now he's actually like in the news. How do we get him? Okay, let's make a false, a false um story about him, and let's claim that the money laundering is tied to the trafficking. Okay, perfect. Now we pressure the local authorities in, in Romania. Say, hey, we got all this evidence. Here's a warrant. Go get him. And that's it. Now, is it is it is it right? Hell no. But once again, this is this is me just saying here's the facts, here's what I see so far. And right now, bro, I'm assuming. Yes, but we really don't know the details per se, but that's what we know so far. So yeah. what can we do? And and think about it. Andrew is a pinnacle of what masculinity is in today's society. If he goes down, bro, who's next? Because what? us as men, we don't have a voice, bro. And once again, a woman can call and say, he hit me. He did whatever to me. Bro, that means nobody's safe. You, uh, the NBA player, the celebrity actor, nobody's safe. So... We, we have a problem as men here, bro, guys. Like, this, 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 this serious problem, bro, because a woman could call and ruin your whole life over one phone call. Trust That's me. I'm just cat. No, no, no. I, hey, I, I agree with that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. And I guess my whole point coming into this was saying, I, Andrew, I believe, used to kind of put it across like, oh, no, well, this only happens in the United States. No, he's not in the United States. It's happening to him today. Like again, if 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 you're in, if you're in motherfucking Bali right now, and, and and somebody calls from the United States, and they could put, it might not be pressure on your local government, but they might put pressure on some international precincts. You're gonna get like a lot of, you're gonna get hammered, bro. Yeah, that that fact right there, act is true because like right now, bro, I had no idea that it would actually take him in again because I thought they were cool. But the pressure from the outside outside forces, bro, that's crazy because they know him personally. So, but I'm thinking, bro, he's gonna get out fine. 24 hours, they'll, they'll let him out, and we'll we'll hear from Andrew himself. But who knows, bro? I mean, we're just waiting to see what happens now at this point. Yeah. What do you mean he know him personally? Like, what does that mean? He knows because it's probably a police force of a, a, a 300 cops. Like, he know each one individually, personally. So Andrew's security is, is comprised of multiple police officers. Some um, are off duty. Some are actually like ex-cops so they all know each other it's a, it's a small society there in romania so andrew's well in, well um known throughout the, the police force so they know him personally on a, on a level so it's kind of like for them to take him in again it has to be some outside source saying you know what hey guys sorry sorry but you gotta you gotta go after him again you have to apparently it's like, just for questioning anyway huh so apparently it's just for questioning he's not even charged question, but he's, he's not getting convicted he's not getting charged right now it's just questioning for 24 hours you but it's still that was gonna make it seem like that nigga's getting locked up, going to prison, eating that shit up. 
Yeah, yeah but it's still fucking his image up. Like, who the fuck? Like, his image I, think his, I think his image was already fucked up. They just, they just, Romania probably seen that Greta Thunberg too. It was like, bro, we got to make press out this nigga, bro. We got to let niggas know Romania is a good country or whatever state. I don't know what the fuck no. that is. No, and, and, and that, that's what I agree with. You're right. Yeah, but apparently he's just in there for questioning. So it looked good to take, it looked good. Well, well no, I think it's more than that. I think it's more than that. If I'm going off what if I'm if I'm going off what these other things said, they waited. Um, they they claim they waited a long while for him to come back to the country. He's been in Dubai a lot, so they're claiming that they've been wanting to lock him up, right? I can't imagine this is just another probe and questioning because if they respect him so much, if the police respect you, especially, they're not gonna keep just raiding your shit and locking you up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Maybe the first time they do that, but afterwards they'll be like, "Hey, could you come in that we could ask you some questions?" It seems like they're aggressively trying to put some charges. Now they also have a cop; they have a former cop, and they have a, supposedly another person who they definitely believe is a part of this whole thing. But they, they would have did it already; like they wouldn't have questioned him. He would just be charged. Well, we don't know how uh, Romania does shit, but like, why would they? Keep having to raid the shit to to ask him questions. Nigga, uh, clout press, good rap. Come on now. That is true. That is true. Okay. Never home. Political shit. Like, come on now. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm reading it. It's an article from Romania, not from fucking Business Insider. No American shit. This is from a Romania blog, and it's, he just says he will be held for 24 hours for questioning in a human trafficking investigation. Yeah. So you don't know if he's actually if he was actually trafficking, he would be charged. Nigga, he wouldn't be. He wouldn't be fucking questioned. He would literally be charged. Thank you. Yo, Lil Boom just said it, bro. If they had this info on him from um, my yeah. minute, and he was actually doing these activities, he will be charged right there and then, bro. But why is he waiting now to see, oh, wait, let's question him, bro. It's all that's a good point. trying to put an agenda on him right now, bro, because they, they know that's not enough to hold him down. They need more than that to, to hold him down yeah, all the way. Thunberg just put, expose that Romanian nigga from the 216 million people, bro. They eating that shit up. All right, yeah. okay, okay. We okay, have. I, hold on, hold on. Yo, we Lil have. Boom. Let me, let me, hold up. Do you, you think? Talk about Andrew Tate, but I don't know him, so I'm right, not gonna. Like, all right, Lil Boom. Do you think Greta Thunberg had any, anything to, to do with this, like actual pressing on him right now? No, no, no. Definitely not her personally, but I, I think I think the growing um, woke mob who probably has influence wherever probably has probably pushed buttons. That's how it goes. Like, right? Like, for example, say a girl has said, "Yo." Fresh, fresh, you know, like did something to me, right? And it could have been like, the, oh, fresh, fresh threatened to punch me in my face, right? Um, maybe nothing comes out of that, right? But now, granted, if somebody who knows the cop or has a cop uncle or shit, maybe somebody who hires a cop or somebody even more powerful than police, then kind of throw something in the air and be like, wait, did I ever investigate the shit where like fresh like threatened to punch this girl in the face? They might just be willing to jump to charges. Anyway, I, I do want to get to this because apparently we do have some, we got some new information. And um, if you go to my page uh, at academics, I posted it there. But apparently, and I don't know how credible this source is, but Nick Sorto, he says, Andrew Tate uh, arrest update. It says, this is unconfirmed, but a source close to, Andrew Tate has told us that Tate's arrest is in relation to money laundering, not rape. Tate will purportedly be held for an extended amount of time. Okay. They says human trafficking is still an ongoing inv investigation, but it's on the lines of money laundering. The quote unquote terrorism in is in regards to the conversations about the Taliban which were posted online, including some videos. That's why counterterrorism got involved. Okay, by the way, recently, I think I, I heard some new interviews by him where he was talking about um, terrorism, period. And um, that's been like a conversation he's been having. Again, not co-signing this and third, but he was trying to give his own opinion, but looked like maybe he's that popular that, you know, government agencies might think that's harmful for him to talk about the Taliban, right? And um, let me keep going. They said the money laundering charges stemmed from finding ten million in cash at the house. That's why they brought him in on money laundering charge. 
Authorities have been digging into their crypto wallets on Binance. This had nothing to do with the Romanian pizza box. The authorities knew he was in the country. They knew they had a return flight book to, to, to Dubai in two weeks. Yeah, the woke mob wanted to make us think that, oh, it's a pizza box that made... made How stupid is that? <laughs> which, by the way, I'm like, maybe Romania is just like fucking, like... The country or like like just fucking oh. trash or well, something. You do know. Well, I don't know if people know. Uh -huh. Immigration well, exists for a reason. If you're out the country planning to leave the country, immigration knows. Okay, like again, pass. If you apply for a passport, they know. If you leave the country, they know. Okay, they usually they, they won't know if, if at least for United States since if you just book a ticket, they might not know because that's just straight with the airline. But as soon as immigration processes you as leaving the country, they know you're out. So I got to think about Romania. Wait, y'all don't know when this nigga is in the country or not? Y'all acting like y'all don't know? Well, 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 the thing. I mean, I I don't wanna. No, let me, not, let me not say that. Well, I'll or, just say, or, or actually, hold on, let me correct myself. Maybe they wouldn't know because theoretically he's flying private. And yes. maybe when he's flying yes. private, yeah. um, things are a little bit different. They go off manifest. You could do a lot of paperwork just straight in the air or even before you get in the air. You're not landing at traditional points where you're talking to, like, um, you know, immigration agents from whatever, from whatever, um, um, country, so maybe that's how they've been moving around, so it's hard to track them. Hmm. Yeah, um, Hardy's a fucking liar. I'm sorry. Wait, um, is it true that uh, Tristan take take got released? Is that true? I'm seeing that now. That's what I heard. Grant said that. I, did I post it? Grant, what's um, going on? I'll do some research. Apparently, there's another video. So let me play this video real quick. Um, apparently this was video of um oh, the 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 truth is oh my god I keep having to play this thing automatically here we go so there's another video here we go yeah ready for this this is when they're going to the house so just to just to be clear Captain you say um, you said, so this is them going into the house I think Kristen would be released but they're keeping Andrew is that correct. I, I, yeah, that's, that's correct. I'm, I'm hearing so far. So it sounds like they're keeping him, and I think he said till February. Did he make what? any mention of the, uh, the sex trafficking or human trafficking? Um, or or it's yeah, he said it's to... not about. He said it's not about that at all. Hmm. But did he say? Can you ask him what it's about? And who indicted? I think this is Tristan. I think this is the Rolls Royce right here. Specifically. He said money laundering, and he said he can't say beyond that. And I'm just sending you uh, the screenshot. I just, I just uh, screenshot everything. So I'm sending that to you, to your team, Mario. So we got arrested in the Romanian government. Yes. It, it seems like the tabloids just really jump to the human trafficking thing, which is like completely. So. Okay. Okay. So it looks like it has some more footage of like the raid. And I guess that's a um, maybe local um, news reporter asking, hey, listen, what's going on here? They're saying, no, it's more of um, a money laundering thing than um, human trafficking. And um, that's kind of interesting, if you ask me, for multiple I reasons. Mean, right now, we don't have enough information to make a sound judgment. Yeah. Uh, I will know that if, if Tristan is released right now and he responds to my WhatsApp, I'll give you guys some more info if, if I can. But right now, I don't know enough to like really speak on it any further but i will say tomorrow we're gonna break it down on pressure fit as well if you guys want to hop in there as well uh academics hey. i'm gonna head out here bro. All right, bro i got some, some some stuff to do hopefully I see you guys soon in miami shout out to the whole chat niggas man love you guys man and uh peace guys right, my nigga. hey peace out bro hey by All the right. way I, i'll be very interested if it's money laundering um i don't know how tax laws and stuff like that usually money laundering happens when they believe you're mixing you know, illegal money with money that could be possibly legal. We all know that he has a very lucrative operation with this um, um, hustle. What's it called a hustlers university? Apparently, in his peak, was making like about seven to eight million dollars a month, right? 
Um, money laundering wouldn't. This is not tax, so if it would be tax, I would imagine. I, don't, I, don't, I you know, we don't know Romanian laws, so I'm going by U.S. laws. If it was tax, we'd be like, hey, tax evasion or something like that. It doesn't sound like it's that. When when you hear money laundering, it means trying to clean dirty money, which then means, are they accusing Andrew Tate of maybe, you know, being a, a associated with some other criminal enterprise or some other people who have maybe dirty money, and those people are just giving Tate and them the money which they're using to mix with their clean money and whatever, whatever. Who knows? Um, this might be a lot of nothing, but one thing once I hear money laundering, they're now about to comb through the books. So they're about to, you know, again, unfortunately, Tate bragging about how much he has, how much cars he has, how much he pays for stuff, cash, how much money he spends, money coming in. It's probably easy for some entity to be like, wait, so you're saying that you make, I don't know, 60 million a year? Dude, like, we've seen your stuff. Like, you, you guys don't report shit on taxes. Also, like, we've analyzed your business. You don't make that amount. You're capping. Maybe you make that amount when you link up with some of these, like, you know, people that need to clean drug money. But now we have you for money laundering charge. So that's kind of like interesting. So, Ag, you said that they found 10 million when well, they did the raid. Do that mean that they're going to keep that 10 million? Well, Until he can prove it's clean. Well, yeah. uh, well okay. So apparently, and, and, I, and I'm not too sure this guy's credentials, they said, they did say it's unconfirmed, but they said, according to sources close to Tate, the arrest is in relation to money laundering, not rape, and, and, and he'll be held for a little bit of time. They says, yeah, they're looking into human trafficking, but really um, it's about this $10 million. $10 million, $10 million, um, what do you call this again? Pounds. This is pounds. This is a pound symbol. Sorry. Right here. $10 million pounds in cash at the house. Here's the funny thing, though. I would have expected Tate to have $10 million pounds in cash. Their bank accounts got frozen before, which, by the way, interestingly enough, maybe they did know something about this going on. Granted, we all know he got canceled by Instagram, this and third. But when he said the cancellation came for him and his bank accounts got frozen, his payment processors, that was a little bit concerning to me just because I'm like, yeah, even if you're misogynistic, that's not a crime. It's not a crime. Why are they freezing your assets and freezing your money unless they think you're, you're using your money or you're getting your money very illegally? So it appears that something of the sort is, is probably the thing. And by the way, on their side of things, of course, yo, if y'all froze my bank account a bunch of times, of course I'm going to have money in cash, rainy day money. Thanks. And, right? So I understand why they would have $10 million in cash. However, if we're going by U.S. rules, you're not getting that money back until they prove that that's just legit. Facts. That's fucking crazy. How real are we keeping it tonight, man? Because I'm smelling a little cap in the air. Wait, 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 you think we capping already? No. What do you mean? Fresh is running defense, but like if we, if if this is um, strictly off of um, this is Chad nigga talk. Fresh is out of here. This is Chad nigga talk. All right, then. Well, I'm, I'm I, you interviewed him. You know him. I don't know him, but he, he he moved like a G. So I can imagine him bumping elbows with some shady. You feel me? This ain't. This is how it goes. Like he just said, he liked corruption. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Like, yo, 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 yo. About, y'all want me to keep it a bean? I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all. I don't think Tate never touched no money like he touched now, because of his hustlers university and the fame before. I think they used to get some money from the webcam shit. And maybe they was doing some little shady shit with, the, with 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 some gangsters or whatever the case is, and they were doing the the the, the uh, casino shit. Here's the thing, and I and I guess you know it always comes when we even told my Bobby Schmurda, right? You know when it came for Bobby Schmurda is when he started making legit money. It wasn't when he was making legal money. I don't think none of the money Tate making right now is illegal. But back in the day, bro, who knows? I don't know how they was making any money. You know what I mean? Like I see a lot of people speaking on them now. Yeah, bro, they do look like they're on the up and up right now. But, my nigga, who knows, man? Like, 
I don't know. Maybe they were really just pimping bitches. I don't know. You get what I mean? Because put it like this. According to what the cops saying, they had a they they had a cop who quit her job. The cop quit her job to go be with him type shit. And the her cop job. was helping the bitches who was at the spot that's 500 feet away from their house, keeping them in check. So there was a female cop keeping the hoes in check. Maybe, I'm not saying they were forcing chicks to be there, but maybe they had a militant operation, which, in the eyes of the law, could be seen as, nigga, you human trafficking, my nigga. Like, these chicks don't want to be here. Like, nigga, you kind of you kind of soliciting their services by, by aggression and force. Now, do I think that that would be anything recent? No. But here's the thing. When they don't got nothing against you, bro, it's the reason why in America, like, there is a um, statute of limitations. That's crazy. Oh, man. Put it like this. Put it like this. Yo, Kyrie, if you, if you, if you was in the streets, they ain't getting no charges on you, right? But, but, but you grounded up to get a million dollars in the streets. They couldn't prove nothing against you in the streets, right? Now you take that money and you flip it into some legal shit. Now you into real estate. Real mm -hmm. estate, you make $150 million. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. If you do that, right? If you do that, nigga, if they could find some evidence that you was tweaking or on some shit, bro, they're definitely going to go charge you back for the old shit. And I think that's what it's looking like if you ask me. I don't think they're trying to charge these things. For, I know they're saying money laundering, but I think they're probably, they were looking at taking them to say, yo, y'all niggas looking too rich before y'all even got here. Nigga, y'all, nigga, the majority of cars they had was, bef was before they even got, like, now his influence is that lit, bro. Like, he could get a lot of people to come like, fuck with that's him. That's why I bring up the whole him saying, like, you got to think, Romania is a small country, right? Yeah. Respect, right? And you going on public platforms saying that you like corruption, and that's one of the reasons why you like living there. That undermines that that government, does it not? No, 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 no. Nah, nah, he didn't say that. He and said it. I agree. I agree. It does undermine what they got going over there. You know what I'm saying? And then, like you say, you add this add up. Like sometimes you gotta, we gotta understand. Like sometimes you put yourself in situations yeah. where you become a target. Yo, add. Yo. Man, listen, bro. I understand, bro. It's Tate season, but apparently Tory called to Kelsey.